Greece is back on track. Uh, the, the newly formed government of Kyriakos Mitsotakis is proceeding uh, reforms very quickly. We have the political will to proceed things the sooner the faster. And uh, we are creating um, a very productive and incentive uh, environment for future developments in Greece. To this extent, uh, the maritime sector, which is uh, the leading sector worldwide, and it is uh, the pillar of the Greek economy, plays a very crucial and strategic role in terms of the new era of Greece. And also we are promoting uh, certain politics in terms of uh, enhancing the maritime education uh, and of course uh, enhancement of the Greek registry. So in other words, uh, we have a certain policy uh, we do know very well our job and of course um, uh, there is a certain plan of developing our 10 major ports. Uh, one thing I can assure you, there is a great interest in developing uh, those ports and pretty soon uh, in 2020 we are going uh, to introduce uh, the procedures of uh, international tenders. Uh, I've asked our National Development Fund to produce a feasibility studies on how we can develop each of our sport separately and soon uh, we'll have the final uh, feasibility studies and then we'll proceed to international tenders. So uh, I think there is a great room of uh, opportunities and investment in our 10 uh, ports. Um, for the time being we have developed two of our main ports, Piraeus and Thessaloniki. Uh, we, just recently we have uh, approved the new master plan uh, of Costco in Piraeus port, which includes investments of more than 620 million euros. Uh, and of course, uh, this marks uh, the new era of Greece. How we can perceive Greece these days. So. We feel very optimistic that uh, we will manage to change the economic climate uh, pretty soon. And uh, I think this is, this is the right time to invest in Greece. Well, the first thing is to retain the sustainability and the competitiveness of the sector. The shipping industry will face major opportunities in the coming years, especially from uh, the 1st of January of 2020, where we have the establishment of new environmental roles, new regulatory framework, automation, cyber security issues. So the first thing that we should uh, retain and sustain, of course, is the sustainability and the competence of the sector. The Greek Ministry, of course, is promoting the enhancement of the Greek registry. Uh, also, um, we are investing in the human capital because in the coming years uh, the shipping industry uh, will need quality uh, officers and quality lower queue uh, for our shipping industry. So, in other words, uh, we must uh, retain uh, the competitiveness of the sector and, of course, if you imagine that the ship Greek ship owned represent approximately 21% of the total worldwide capacity and of course uh, for United States which is, is uh, one of the major import export countries uh, you can easily realize the importance the strategic importance of the Greek shipping industry in terms of uh, being one of the large cross trade uh, worldwide uh, we need to extend and enlarge uh, our capacity in terms of our marine academies. So we are going to redevelop all the structure, all the framework of our marine academies. Also we are going to invest to private marine education as all our competitive maritime nations do. So back in normal in Greece. <laughs>
with respect to uh, the marine uh, education. Um, we feel that um, in the near future we need uh, quality officer because they, they need to handle with automation, with cyber security issues. So that's why we need uh, qualified uh, officers and lower crew. So this is the time to invest on those uh, areas and uh, we have a certain plans uh, and this will be uh, uh, on place in, in 2020.